<laughs> That's a big fish. G'day, g'day, welcome back. Today we're fishing at Hanging Rock. Hanging Rock is a volcanic formation. It is located an hour north of Melbourne. There's plenty to do at Hanging Rock and there's lots of native wildlife, including birds, koalas and kangaroos. Hanging Rock has its own discovery center. It's full of useful information about the area, prehistoric life, the original inhabitants of the area, and its rich volcanic history. Hanging Rock was created by the eruption of thick lava through a narrow vent in the bedrock. There's actually a spooky little story surrounding Hanging Rock. In the year 1900, two girls and a teacher went missing. The teacher returned and the girls were never found. The teacher had no recollection of what had happened to her. Now onto some positive stuff. There is a summit walk, a base walk, and a creek walk, and also a playground. The summit walk was shut on the day I was there, just due to storm damage. You will need a ticket to exit the park. There's drinking water on site, and here's the prices for each ticket. The site also boasts a really nice cafe and gift shop. It's a wonderful place to get out of the weather and enjoy some coffee and some scones with cream and jam. Righto. That does it for the touristy stuff. Let's get on to the fishing. The lake itself, I'd say, is about one acre and about 20 feet deep max. See Camel's Hump on Mount Macedon in the background? Now, the Vic Fisheries, they stock this every year. They chuck in about 300 catchable size rainbow trout. Now, most of these fish get caught throughout the year. I have caught the odd three to five pound fish over the years out of this dam, but it's pretty rare. Today's weather, northerly wind, partly cloudy, and temps between 1 and 7 degrees. Today's weapon of choice is my 10 foot 6 weight, fitted with a Cortland clear intermediate sinking line, sinks at 1.5 to inches per second. My point fly will be an orange beaded damsel, and on my dropper I will have an orange beaded leech. Each fly will be on a 12 foot leader, 6 feet apart. I immediately started my retrieve as soon as the flies hit the water. Yep. Oh, this is a good one. This is a nice fish. The fisheries had obviously stocked the lake with a variety of sizes. This one was on the bigger end of the scale. Now, I know this isn't a purist form of fly fishing and it's a stocked lake and it's pretty easy going. However, it is fun and sometimes it's just good to have a relaxing day's fishing and not have to work too hard for the fish. Yes, that's a good fish. Let's give you guys a look at that. That one's going in the smoker. That's an egg bound fish. Look at that. So, the bag limit on this lake is two fish per person. I was after two decent sized fish for my smoker. I already had one. Yep. The other was yet to come. Oh, it's another good one. There are a few good ones in here. I seem to be onto them. This one wasn't quite the size I was looking for. It did come close though. The real keeper is the last fish in this video. Oh, that's a lovely fish. That is a lovely fish. Just lost all my tippet. That's handy. You do your zips up like you were taught in the army. You won't that won't happen here. Sarge Moore will make you crawl across broken glass to bloody pick up your gear if you do that. Fatty. Hopefully you can see that alright. Off he goes.
My six weight was definitely overkill. However, the extra casting distance is handy and my five weight still hasn't been fixed. Another nice one. Got a bit of a mix up here, struggling. Put him in the gills. There he goes. Off he goes. If you listen in, you can hear the magpies in the background. The native birds at Hanging Rock are really something to come and see. I've had Rosellas here come and sit on my car door while I was getting my gear ready. Got him. As you can see in the bottom left corner, the temperature didn't rise much all day. I didn't mind though, because I was catching fish. There he is. There's a little damsel I got him on. Great little fly that. I haven't included all the fish that I caught in this video. It's more just to show people that within an hour's drive of Melbourne, there's a good fishing option. This isn't the only small lake in the area that's stocked with fish, but it is definitely one of the better ones. I would highly recommend if you have kids, bring them here. They're almost guaranteed to catch a fish. It's also a really good lake to learn to fly fish on. There's very few trees. Your back cast is clear most yep. of the lake. And let's face it, you can throw nearly any fly you want at these nice. fish and they'll eat it. Beautiful. They're good size. The temperatures crept up a couple of degrees, but the wind also picked up with it. I used it to my advantage and fished parallel to this bank. Yep. There seemed to be a good number of fish not too far out. Another fish. Took the gold humongous. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, I changed to a humongous. There he is, it's not very big. All right, let's get it back out there. Hey, hey. The sun finally came out. This pushed the fish slightly deeper in the water column. I now had to count down 10 seconds to get my flies to the right depth. I also changed my dropper fly to a Dior bark. One. Dior bark means little devil in Welsh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Bill bucks definitely live up to their name. If you don't have any in your fly box, I recommend getting some. They're also pretty easy to tie. They can represent many different nymphs, but they were originally tied to look like a buzzer or a coronamid. There he is. Here we are, the last fish to wrap up the day. 
There are some similar fisheries in Victoria, like Hanging Rock. If you want to see some more videos like this, chuck a comment in the comment section. Your feedback inspires me to make more videos. And the more feedback I get, the more the YouTube algorithm pushes out my content. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. This will also be a big help to me. Every subscriber grows my channel and brings me a step closer to monetization, which would help with the financial costs of making these videos. He's, he's coming home. Well, that's it from me. I would like to take a moment at the end of this video for my viewers and subscribers to get to know me. So stick around and I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a family man. I married a Filipino and I've got two half Australian, half Filipino kids who are absolute joys. I'm also a war veteran. I spent six years in the army as a paratrooper and served on a mentoring task force in Afghanistan. I've had my fair share of physical and mental ailments since leaving the army. In the last year I've had back surgery, I've really had to take a step back from my work as a glazier. And I've had the last year to recover from what it seems is the last 10 years of some pretty tough times. Fly fishing has really helped me recover. If I couldn't fly fish, I don't know what I'd do. I'm also one of those crazy Christians. You know, those guys that always talk about Jesus. Well, that's enough about me. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And I'll leave you with these words from my favourite apostle. God bless and see you on the next one.